original amount and sold amount okay how much they brought and how much they sold okay so like the two measures i'm going to take guys actual amount and sold amount and then i'm going to take a profit profit percentage how much i got the profit okay clear guys these are the measures i have taken in the fat sales so dimensions will be 3 and measures will be 3 here total 6 measures are there in my fact sales table now okay on the same day same thing i am going to copy okay so the actual amount for example product 1 okay product 1 i have the i brought it for the 200 Okay, I spent two hundred for the P one, but I sold by three hundred. No, two fifty can take it to two fifty. So I invested two hundred rupees for product one, but I sold two fifty rupees. So how much the profit here, guys? What is the profit here? Fifty rupees I got the profit. Okay, fifty rupees I got the profit. Mean what is the percentage here? On the product one, what is the percent percentage? Mm -hmm. So percentage will be how to calculate sold amount by twenty percent, sir. And then actual amount into hundred. Sold amount minus actual amount by. I think sold amount. We'll see. Is it correct or not? Is it correct? Twenty percent? No, not twenty percent. Is the not the correct? Yeah, this is the correct. So I got twenty-five percent profit. right so my i spent the 200 rupees okay i then i sold by so i i spent the 200 and sold by 250 i got 25% profit on the product 1 come on brother sorry guys hello ma sorry uh, can you go on mute guys someone no no brother come here no sense over come here there is no order in class Okay. Okay. So total is two hundred rupees I spent, and then I got the two fifty. The total will be twenty five percent. I got the profit on the twenty five percent on the product one. The same way product two. I spent maybe one hundred rupees or one fifty rupees. Okay, I sold by one eighty or one seventy something like that. What is my profit here? I got thirteen point three percent. Okay, I got thirteen point three percent profit on the my second product. Okay, now I spend the one more will be hundred. I sold by one twenty five. So now I got the twenty five percent profit here also. Now you can see. So what is my overall profit means in the store one? What is my overall profit? What we, we can if we sum this one, what happen? What is happen? Total will be sixty three point three. It's showing sixty three point three. It's showing. Is it the correct profit? So sixty three point three is the correct. Sixty three means how much you invested here? On you invested totally on the four fifty rupees you invested. Ah, sorry. You invested four fifty rupees on the store one, store one products. How much you got? Five forty five. So you got the five forty five. You invested on the four fifty. Just I am writing here. You invested on the four fifty. You got five forty five. 
so actual what is the profit here you got so almost 100 rupees profit not not more, more than not 100 also so if i do the calculation here same calculation 21 percent i got the 21 original profit will be only 21 percent if i do the summation here what happened summation is doing 63 percent okay so is this the correct calculation guys is the correct summation this is the correct no. profit so it's a wrong so so product wise we can't able to sum the this ratio kind of measures so here the product wise i'm i'm not able to sum even if you want to store one and store two the same thing i have taken here same thing are taken in the store two also if i do the same thing on the store two same amount so i'm pasting the same i got this one okay what is my total profit here showing 126 but what is the original here i'm going to sum the original i i invested a 900 rupees okay i invested 900 so so i got 1090 what is my original profit if i do the calculation on the original profit so 21 percent only i got the profit on the both stores store one and store two on day one i got the 21 percent profit but if i do the summation for me it's showing 126 126 126 it's showing the profit so this is the irrelevant it's the incorrect so product wise i am not able to sum location i am not able to sum the profit measure even the same date wise also i can't able to sum that this kind of measures any ratio kind of measures are calculated measures it will come under the non additive facts okay any ratio kind of measures or calculated measures here will be we are, we are calculating this one right based on the deriving logic based on the base measures i am going to calculating this measure to populate profit okay any calculated measures it will come under the non additive facts you can't able to sum any of the dimensions in a fact table clear guys so here the profit will become the Profit is the non additive measure. Profit is the non additive measure, and this will be the additive measures. Actual amount and sold amount is the additive measures, and profit is the non additive measure. Clear, guys? The fact types. Clear on the fact types? Yes, sir. So, I am going to explain the one more time. So additive measures is nothing but the we can able to sum this is the fact measure. Okay. Additive facts is a fact. We can able to sum all of the dimensions in a fact table. What are the dimensions are there? Keys are there in the dimension keys are there in the fact table. By using these dimension tables, we can able to sum the this fact measure. If you able to sum all of the dimensions, these kind of facts we call as a additive facts okay the same semi additive is nothing but the so we can able to sum phi of the dimensions we can able to sum okay but we can't able to sum other other dimensions okay next come to the non additive non additive means we can able to we can't able to sum any of the dimensions in a fact table that particular pact this kind of measures we call as a non additive measures so in the interview point of view you have to explain with the examples guys they will ask the question can you tell me the fact types they are going to explain the can you explain the fact types okay you can't say only simply definition with the example you have to explain in the interview point of view then only they will know yeah, the, yeah, the real-time experience. 
So here I am going to explain the take the additive fact is a fact that can be summed of all of the dimensions in a fact table. Example, we can take the sales amount. So sales amount I'm we are going to calculate the based on the all of the dimensions in a our fact sales table. So here in the inventory means so uh, semi additive means we can we can able to sum the fee of the dimensions, but we can't able to sum the other dimensions in a fact table. Example end of the inventory or beginning of the inventory. So inventory we can able to calculate the product wise, location wise, but not the date wise. We can't able to calculate the date wise on the inventory amount, inventory stock. So like that you have to explain in the interview point of view guys. Clear? If you know the concept understanding, you can able to easily explain in the interview. Any doubts guys, this, this fact measures, I am going to show you how we are going to calculate these measures, uh, differentiate in the, easily in the in, in, uh, BA testing side. You can see guys, see here, this is the sales measure, this is the percentage measure, this is the inventory. See we are summing the here, we are able to sum the 